Hey guys, today I wanted to show you how to quickly make your own personalized wine glasses. It could be for any event. I have to do some for a birthday event coming up, but I also made one for me and I'm gonna show you how to do this one. Um, this one I have, it says queen on it. You can make one for yourself or for somebody else. Um, and it can say pretty much anything that you can think of. So let me go ahead and show you. For this project, we will be using the Cricut machine. Let's go ahead and power the Cricut machine up and open it. Be sure it's plugged in. You'll want to make sure the machine is set to cut vinyl. To get started, you will need Cricut's design space already downloaded on your phone. Be sure to have your Bluetooth connected to your Cricut machine as well. Let's open up design space by hitting the plus icon to start a new project. To add words to the screen, tap text. Now type the word you would like to have. I'm going to put happy 45th. You can add as many words as you want. Just tap text every time you want to add a word. If you need to edit the word, click edit at the bottom. You can resize the font as needed and you can change the font style as well. There are several styles to choose from. Some are free and some you have to pay for. Here's one I like. Feel free to move the text around as needed. Instead of 45th, let's put birthday. And change the font style so it's the same. Before moving forward, it's always a good idea to save your work. To do this, hit the disk icon at the top, type in the name of the file, and save it. Next, select make it at the top right. For this project, I am going to use my 12 by 12 cutting mat so I will select the first option. Next, position your words how you would like for it to be cut. If you have not connected to your Cricut machine, it will prompt you to do so. Okay, let's get the vinyl ready. You can find various types of vinyl online or in your local craft store. I'll have a link in the description box below where you can purchase some. I'm only going to use a small piece of vinyl, so I'm going to cut it down with my scissors. Now I'm going to take the vinyl and stick it to the cutting mat. The mats usually come with a film on top. When you're ready to use it, take the film off. The top of the mat is sticky. Be sure to line up your vinyl within the cutting box. Let's load the mat. It should be sitting right at the edge of the wheels. When the machine is ready, you will see the arrow blink. Now your vinyl is ready for cutting. When the machine is finished, the arrows will blink again. Press it and retrieve the cutting mat. Let's remove the vinyl from the mat and peel away the excess vinyl. Be careful not to remove any letters. There are special tools you can buy that will help you pick out the small pieces of vinyl. Since I can't find mine at the moment, I'll be using my X-Acto knife. One hack that I like to use is scotch tape. I cut a piece of it and stick it on top of my words. 
Afterwards, I peel away the backing. And finally stick it to my glass. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it to be very informative. If you like this video and would like to see more of my videos, just hit the like button. If you did not like this particular project, put an emoji in the comment section below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Stay tuned for the next project. I will be doing artwork.